Yes, that's right, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV, back with some more quick tips. I've got some absolute solid gold nuggets of information for you. And at the end, I've got something that is a real game changer for your main sheet blocks. Stay tuned, let's jump in. Okay, so if your boat has got the purchase system on the jib halyard, it can be quite tricky to know when your jib halyard is twisted or when it's not until it's too late. All we need to do is pull the rope nearest the front outwards and we'll look up the rope and from there we'll very easily be able to see if it's twisted or not. So that's the right one. We can attach the jib, pull that up and have a look at the next tip. Okay, now that the jib is up, it can be confusing how much tension we put on the jib halyard. Well, what we want to do in the light winds is pull it on as tight as possible, but so the mast can still freely rotate. And then what we can do from that position is we put a mark on the halyard. This is just tape. And then we've put a calibration strip on the mast so we can see exactly where our maximum setting is. And then as the wind picks up, we can then incrementally loosen the jib halyard to make the boat respond better. That's a good idea. If you really don't like clevis pins and split rings, and also you wanna do the right thing by your jib, you can use a shackle on the tack of your jib instead of pinning it straight through the chain plate, this will put the tack of your jib slightly further back, meaning it's not gonna get worn so much in this area where it would do if you just used a pin. With the shackle, we will need to put it as low down as possible on the chain plate. If you like these style of videos, these quick tips videos, I have made quite a few already. Just check out the link at the end to the next quick tips video. Also, if you feel like you're getting a lot of good stuff from Joyrider TV, you could consider supporting the channel by heading over to Patreon. You'll see a link in the description below if you'd like to do that. Back to the next tip. If you're using your boat every day or the next day, a good idea can be Rather than washing your sails and then putting them away wet, you can wash your sails the next day when you're rigging up just to avoid that accumulation of salt on the sails. Your sails can then dry and hopefully you won't be capsizing that day. So then you could put them away dry. This is of course also going to help by lubricating the bolt rope, which is gonna make it easier to get the sail up the mast. If you're using a six to one downhaul system on a 16 or similar, to make it easier getting your six to one downhaul off when you've finished sailing, rather than having to untie the rope or remove a clevis pin and split ring, what we've done here is we've actually fitted a, a snap shackle to the fitting there, which makes it very quick and very easy to take the downhaul fitting off. Have you ever had this happen where your main sheet has just become really twisted up, meaning that the end of the main sheet has actually gone all of the way around the traveler, making it impossible to use? This could be a real problem, but there is a way of fixing it. Now, the actual method of doing this will vary depending on what style of traveller you're using and what style of main sheet block. But what we've done is we've passed some shock cord through the ends of the traveller car and then we're going to put this through these holes in the front of the block using some four or five mil shock cord depending on what size holes you've got available. We'll do this on the other side. And then there we have it. The block can still rotate, 
so you can sheet in from anywhere on the boat but this elastic is going to stop it from rotating anymore so you don't get that twisting so there we go there was some quick tips for you if you want some more quick tips check out this one here where you'll find some excellent advice and i'll see you soon with some more on joyrider tv thanks very much